Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 59 for learning management system in Django with React.js. In this video, we are going to work on the uh, favorite course. Okay, favorite course flow. So first of all, when student go, when uh, anyone go to uh, the course detail page, here we will add show the heart icon, which will only show for the user. And if user is logged in, uh, it means it will only show when user is logged in. And when he uh, click on the heart then it will save the uh, with the with that student in the database right and in the user panel we will show the favorite courses right so this is the flow for the favorite courses so i have uh, created the 57th and 58th video but i have not uploaded uh, yet but i will upload it soon okay and uh, yes so let's start with the favorite course so first of all we, we need to modify our uh, course detail page so uh, let's uh, show the course detail page okay so uh, this is enroll button it is showing only when the user is logged in right so with the help uh, with the same uh, you know same kind of condition we will show the hard button so let's go with the uh, serializer class okay serializer let's Oh, sorry. See, I'm I'm saying serializer. Oh, let's uh, open the course detail page. Sorry. <coughs> so we have here. So it's uh, showing uh, enroll enroll in this course, right? So it is uh, if uh, enroll status is success, user is login status is success, then it will show. So similarly, we will show here let's show here if uh, user login status currently we will show only for the user login after that we will show here the for if uh, user is already uh, uh, add as a favorite then we will uh, also we will show already uh, like uh, here we are showing you are already enrolled in this course similar message we will show right so if user is logged in then here we will show the heart icon class f a heart right so here we are it's not a class it's a class name sorry okay so here we it will be a uh, mark as favorite right mark as favorite and we will create this uh, function so here we are enroll in this course similarly we will create a function mark as favorite course right here we are mm. and the constant is this and this is arrow function right so okay so now let's see it's not showing the heart okay so it's not showing the heart because uh, because we didn't included any uh, library of icons so bootstrap icons hmm. uh, let's go here this is okay and it's saying npm bootstrap icon or install how we can install this uh, we can just simply add this URL so copy paste here no don't need this while so save this in our folder we will save this in our folder here we are save uh, we have uh, home uh, Django LMS and uh, front end public and here we will save this okay similarly like we are including the icon we will include the uh, like we are including the bootstrap we will include this okay in the index.html file right so here we have oh we have already included oh, it means we have added already huh? oh that's fine so we don't need this actually let's let's do that okay so here we have icons so let's say which icon heart heart icon heart 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 
we need simple heart why this is showing so many you know kind of uh, things where it is yes so we can say uh, before it was uh, you know heart empty and after that we will uh, fill with the path we will fill that hmm? so here we don't need this uh, course detail and let's go to heart icon so here we are right so this is okay now let's go here it's showing the heart icon let's show in a danger hmm? or uh, we can change the size heading how it is hmm, icon svg it's svg icon for the SVG, we can paste this path. Okay, no problem. Button, this is button, or we can say button outline. Right? So, button outline we have. Let's go here. Okay, button out, uh, button outline danger, button outline danger hmm. so yes this is working now let's uh, say heart or uh, we can say fill heart fill hmm. so here we are fill yes this will work this this can work okay this is perfect okay and let's add one more thing title so uh, mark as add 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 in your favorite course list hmm? so okay so <coughs> add in your favorite course list right so <coughs> Yeah, so let's start uh, working on this. So we will uh, save this and then uh, we will show in the user dashboard. First of all, uh, when, you, when we click on this, if user is logged in, then it will show. If user is not logged in, then it will not show. Let's check this. So here we will go. Here it is not showing. Okay. So if user is logged in, then it will show the alex at the rate gmail.com password is something right and uh, let's go here here okay so if user is logged in then it will show and uh, when if already user marked as a favorite and click on this then it will unmark uh, from their list it means a uh, delete from their list okay so we will perform toggle functionality on this okay so let's start with this okay so let's create the functionality for adding and removing course from the favorite list of student right so first of all uh, we need to create a model right so here we have a credit the model uh, favorite course course student id status right actually we don't need the status even because we just need to save the course and student id okay and we'll just remove that row okay if, but if you want to uh, keep it no problem you can keep so we have created the so first of all we have created the model then we have created the serializer here we have a serializer okay this is same as uh, you know enroll status okay and then uh, we have created the url and this is the url student add favorite course student favorite course i am calling this view right so this view is here uh, student favorite course detail uh, not detail this is a uh, favorite course we don't need the, this detail don't need this uh, view right so student favorite course and this is the atom editor okay i am trying to you know trying to do something new so that i'm using the atom editor let's see how useful it is and uh, how we can switch from the visual code to atom or it is beneficial or not okay but uh, i can see that 
theme is uh, not you know very colorful but uh, yeah it's okay so this is the serializer a student favorite i'll uh, okay i am just interrupting uh, interrupting this i like one thing uh, that is really very cool in the atom editor you can add anything for the style sheet like uh, i need to increase the font size in the sidebar so i have added here uh, i need to remove the line from the middle see this line let me show you see this line right so we can remove this so we can add the css uh, or on css in this okay so <coughs> this is very cool thing okay so let's come back to the serializer so this is our serializer right so we have added this and then we are calling in the view of course so yeah this is serializer you need to import this in top so i have imported this here we are right so when uh, let's go to the course detail here we have a course detail and when we click on this mark as favorite function okay so first of all uh, we have created the status uh, that uh, a favorite status okay so when page is loaded we are calling this function favorite status if favorite status is true then we are going to add success in this uh, uh, state else we are empty the state right so according to this uh, favorite status condition we are showing the button right so here we have a button uh, here so if user login success and this is not success favorite status then we will show the empty uh, you know heart empty box and we can as mark as favorite if both success then we can say remove favorite we can remove the favorite and this is the corresponding function we are sending the data here we are sending the data and uh, in the remove i am not using that function i am using the uh, custom function right so in the remove in the remove uh, what i am doing let me show you in the remove i am using the custom function because we can't use this because in the list create api you can't uh, use the delete method you can just use the uh, get and create or post method so this is our uh, remove favorite course i have created this functionality i am passing the course id student id in the url as a keyword right so here you can see that and uh, then i am deleting that row where a student and course id is that okay and returning the json response and according to the response i'm setting the again i'm setting the status okay so here we have our status success in the mark as a favorite and remove i'm emptying the status okay so let's check this functionality and i have created this video along with the you know coding but uh, maybe i don't know i'm not sure uh, the video was not a sound so that uh, i'm explaining you this thing uh, after creation right so uh, let's uh, mark this as favorite so this course has been added in your favorite list and if i go to the admin then uh, if i go to the here you can see that flex uh, lx it means course name and the username and when we click on this again then it will uh, can you see that this is filled okay so when we click on this again then this will be become empty and here the course will be removed right so this is the functionality that i have created okay with the atom editor and all these things so please uh, uh, comment in the please comment that how uh, you sh you think that uh, i should uh, continue with the atom editor or uh, uh, vs code is also fine i know that but uh, what's your uh, thinking about this okay and what's your thinking about the functionality of the uh, favorite status okay in the next video what i will do uh, i will uh, fetch all the favorite codes in the uh, user dashboard favorite code section right so let's meet in the next video so please uh, don't forget to subscribe the channel okay i'm going to show you the channel if you are uh, new to this uh, new to the code artisan lab right so this is my channel here and uh, you can follow me on github i think you should follow me on github on instagram and facebook also but i prefer to follow me on github because i'm regularly updating the things on the github and you can also support me via razor pay paypal and uh, subscribe my membership the uh, membership has lots of benefits and uh, send me your email id after supporting okay 
so it's not a fixed uh, thing you can support me any any amount of uh, any small any big okay so uh, after supporting me send me your email id and i will give you access of that repository right so this is my repository github.com slash code artisan lab okay so here we have a repository and uh, yes i'll give you the access these are the public repository lms is a private repository i'll give you the access after supporting okay so thank you so much for watching this video and uh, let's meet in the next video thank you